Okay, so I just want to go over with you how do you go about creating a three-column layout? Because um, we've looked at creating a two-column layout, and if you haven't looked at my videos, I have a video on creating a two-column layout, and probably just from watching the video on creating a two-column layout, I have a feeling that you'd be able to figure out how to make a three-column layout. Okay, um, so if you're following along with me, what I've done is you look at this editable region one, I've just created a template. Um, and templates are a great way to really create a really strong sense of visual continuity and actually to make your workflow in Dreamweaver and working on in web design a quicker, to make it a quicker endeavor, we can say. All right, so what I want to do here is I'm going to come on in and create a three column layout. And what I've created here is the div tag, it's called container. And as I look at the container, um, it's, it's the height is a thousand and it's 900 across. So it's 900 across by 1000. It's always a good idea to write things down. So I'm going to do a three column layout. So here goes. Uh, I'm going to have column one, column two, column three. All right. So um, what I am going to do is I'm going to start with column one. And actually what I need to do, and it might get a little complicated, but everything needs to be inside of div tags. So I'm going to have a column that I'm going to float all the way to the left that will be 300 pixels across. Then I'll have another column that I'll float to the right that will be 600 pixels across. Then inside of that 600 column pixel, I'll put in another 300 column, 300, 300 column pixel, 300 column div tag. So here goes. So I come on in and I'm going to come to inserts and I am going to, actually, I'm sorry, I want to open up my insert panel and I'm going to insert a div tag and I am going to say that I want this one to be after the start of the tag and I want it to be inside of the container tag and I'm going to name this one column one new CSS rule applies to you know these different elements I'm going to make the box I'm going to go down a little bit I'm going to put it at 280 and I'm going to put the height at 980. And I'm going to float this left. And I am going to say, OK. OK, so there it is. There is there is column one. All right, so now this space is going to be for column two and three. OK, but what first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it inside of another div tag um, and then I will put the columns inside of there. So here goes. So insert div tag, and I'm going to say I want this one after the tag. I want this one after column one. And I'm going to say, name this one. You can name these whatever you want to. Two column holder. I want this to hold column two and three. So I'm going to say new CSS rule. I want it to be on my CSS page. I'm going to create a box. I'm going to give this a width of 600. I'm going to give it a height of 1, 2, 3, 1,000. I am going to float this right. I am going to say OK. OK. And here I can see I have the column holder for column 2 and column 3. Now, this is what I'm going to do next. This is where it gets tricky. Now I'm going to insert column 2 and column 3 inside of this Holder. So here goes again, insert div tag. And what I'm going to say though is after start of tag, and I want it to be after the two column holder. And I'm going to name this one column two, new CSS rule. I'm going to put it on my CSS page for best practices. I'm going to give this one a width of 280, a height of 980, and I will float this left now. But as we float it left, what we're going to see is that it will float left inside of here. The div tag that we placed it inside of keeps it in place. So I will insert our last one. And again, we'll come into insert div tag. And we're going to actually say after tag for this one. And we want this one to be, it's going to come after column two. So we click after column two, two and we're going to name this one column three, new CSS rule. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to come on in. Actually, let's see, box. Let's make the width, keep it all standard 280. Let's make the height 
980 and this one we are going to float right and I will hit OK. OK. And here we can see it. We have three a three column layout. Um, column one, column two, column three. Now, again, you could play around with this. You could make, uh, let's say you wanted to have images over here. You could make this smaller. You could make, you know, this side smaller to hold images and this side bigger. So there's lots of options in here, but really, again, your best bet, and I'm working mostly with div tags here, um, and we will also, in other videos, I'll have, I have videos on AP div tags are a little bit different, but your best bet when we work on the web is to really think that everything lives inside of a box. Thanks so much.